So here we have a big cool fish caught on some lugworms. As you can see, uh, some feathers just beat it up. So I'm just gonna unhook it from here. Right, so there we go, there it is, I'm hooked. So we are back at home. We will now be preparing this cool fish. So I'm just gonna start off by scaling the fish. So even though they have small scales, if you're trying to make fillets to eat, it is definitely worth scaling your fish. So with a serrated knife, I will just... This also gets rid of all this fish slime. All fish have a protective um, coating of slime on their skin or their scales. Certain fish have a lot more than others, especially rockling and eels. So we are now be filleting our fish. So scaled both sides, as you can see. There are no more scales, all smooth. So I start off by angling my fish like this and start running your knife along its fin. So basically along its spine. You might need to dent it in at first. Yep, so that's it so far. So now that I've run um, a knife along here, simply I'm gonna cut from the fin up to the this point here, which is just before the bone, so you get the maximum meat. So. And then from there, cut just a bit down. Like that. You can see it's liver there, but anyway. And all I do is I run it along the spine and you can hear the bones crackle. So at this point now, I'll simply stab through because I don't want any of this belly meat here. It's usually full of bones, color knife for this. There we go. And now to get all of this out, I'm just gonna have to again just stab through. There. And there is your fillet. That's a wonderful fillet today. Sometimes they don't turn out great, but you do get a few bones here, but you can take them out sometimes just along here. But there's your fillet basically there. Now all of this here, won't go to waste, it all makes amazing bait for either conger eels or lobster pots and crabs.